time it is. It's Ranger Charlie. And Roscoe time. So laugh your face all over the place. Yay! There we go. Oh, hi, everybody. I am just getting these balloons up because I'm giving Roscoe a surprise party. When he comes out, the kids and I are going to all yell surprise. See, being that it's Monday morning, Roscoe's been kind of down that the weekend's over, so I thought I'd, I'd give him a Mondays aren't so bad party. Pretty good idea, huh? Hi, good Ranger Charlie. For... Hi, Mike. Hey, kids. Yo, dude. What's happening? Okay, Mike, I doing? gotta let you in on the, on the thing here. Okay. I'm giving a surprise party for Roscoe. Okay. It's a secret, so you gotta okay. keep it a secret, okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? I've got a surprise for you. Oh, you do? Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I see a cartoon coming, so I'll wait until after the cartoon, and then I'll show you guys all the surprise I have for you, okay? Okay, we'll be right back. Sounds good. Ooh, boy. you were talking okay. about. Okay, now I'm gonna be a magician for Halloween, and I've got my costume and everything, but I have to come up with some tricks to do. So, I've been practicing this trick, so I'm gonna show you this trick now. All right. Okay, I have this coin, it's just a regular old silver coin, see? And I'm gonna put the coin in my hand. And then I'm gonna reach over and grab the coin with my other hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna count one, two, three, and then you'll give it a little blow. And it disappeared. And so now what I'm Here gonna do is I'm gonna reach over, and I'm gonna pull it right out of her ear. Look Wait at that. There minute. it is, right in your ear. Okay. Isn't that something? How'd you do that? Well, I can't tell you how I did it. It's a secret. Magicians have secrets, and they never mm, tell their secrets. Too bad. But there are some secrets that are not good secrets to keep. Right. You're talking about secrets where an adult might ask a child to keep a secret that a child doesn't feel comfortable That's keeping. very true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. If an adult says or does something that makes you feel uncomfortable, and especially if they tell you to keep it a secret, that's not a good secret to keep. You should tell somebody that you love and that you trust right away that the person said or did something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Even if that person is somebody who you love and trust, you still need to tell somebody that it happened. Sometimes they might say they're going to hurt you if you don't keep the secret. But still, it's very important that you tell somebody that you love and that you trust what that was, what happened that made you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. There are some good secrets too, though, like surprise parties. Yeah, the, oh, are, yeah, that reminds me. I wonder when Roscoe's gonna wake up so we can give him his surprise party. Hmm, Roscoe! I'll tell you what. Why don't you show us some of your safety techniques while we're waiting for Roscoe? That's to wake a great up. idea. Okay. I'd love to do that. I need a volunteer though to show safety technique. How about this guy right here? He looks like a good volunteer. All right, why don't you come right out here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some different ways to get away from a stranger. If an adult stranger grabs you and you have to get away, I'm gonna show you some real easy ways to get away, all right? and you're gonna be my first volunteer. Now, usually if an adult will grab a child, they're gonna use handles. See, here's his handles right here. If I say, here, come over here. See, he comes over here, come over here. See, because I'm holding the handles. They don't usually grab you by the ankles because you're too heavy by the ankles. Grab you by the shoulders. So you turn and look at me. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands on your shoulders like I'm grabbing you here. And what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands together like you're gonna pray. Then you're going to put your elbows together and put them straight up in the air behind your ears and then down like a big bird flying away. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Ready? Elbows together and up, way up and down to the sides. Boom. Ah, and my hand so slip right off. The, the reason that it works is because when I'm holding him, see how my hand is sideways? Now he can't move because I'm mm -hmm. holding him. But when he picks his hand up, watch my hand. Oh, you see, now it's up and down. It's not sideways anymore, and it'll so just slip right off. that's something that kids right at home can practice with their parents, That's huh? right. Hopefully, nobody will ever have a stranger grab them, but it's nice to know what to do just in case it happens. You betcha. And the important trick to this technique is that if I grab him and he goes, and tries to get away, then I'm going to go, and I'm bigger and stronger, and so he can't get away. So it's really important to pretend like you're very weak and you can't do anything. Okay, you try it one more time. Here we go. Good, up and boom, right Good down. Job. And then he would turn and run away. Good luck. Good job. Okay, I need another volunteer. Here, how about you? Why don't you come on up here? Yeah, you can leave your picture there. Good, okay, all right. Okay, Danielle. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you another way. You have more than just these handles here. You have handles under here, too. And mm -hmm. sometimes adults will pick kids up. Watch. Look, right like that. So how do you get away? I'll show you, just like babies get away. You're going to put your hands way up in the air like this, and then you're going to fall right down on your knees. Boom. Just there you go. Good. All right. Let's try it again. Now you stand up. And I'm going to go ahead and grab practice you. This with your parents. And then when I grab you, you put your arms up and then drop down to your knees. Ready? Go. And drop. 
Zoop! There she goes. Oh, yeah, and then so he's she got gets nothing to hold on to under there with her Isn't arms that up. Something? Okay, thanks a Great. lot. Great. Keep so these in are mind. Things I can practice. Yeah, keep in mind though that your best weapon is your voice. Always yell and make a big fuss mm -hmm. if somebody's bothering you so that other adults will see it and hear it and then come around and look mm -hmm. for you. You guys at home might remember from last time what you should say is, You're not my mother or You're not my father if right. it's somebody that's taking you somewhere. Right. Well, we're going to be right back. Mm -hmm. Here, Roscoe's still not awake for his surprise party. Hmm. You know what, you guys? I think we should sing the birthday rap extra loud today and see if we can wake up Roscoe. You want to try that? Okay. Where's our birthday rap music? We'll be really loud. Hey, kids! It's birthday time. So join us now for our birthday rhyme. We've got Michael, you kids, Ranger Charlie too, ready to wish. Here's a note here. Let's see here. It's from Roscoe. He says he went to the Monday morning mammal meeting. He's trying to make Mondays a little more fun. Hmm. Wonder how Roscoe's doing at his Monday morning mammal meeting. Let's take a look. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you for inviting me to be your keynote speaker at the Monday morning mammal meeting. Yes, I'm so excited to be here on Mammoth Mountain. Well, let me tell you all that uh, this is a very special occasion for me because I'm, I want to tell you how much I love your support for mammals. I think it's very important that everyone know how important mammals are. I'm tired of uh, all the other animals getting all the laughs and all the jokes. It's time for mammals to stand up for humor. Yeah, why don't we have like a rubber raccoon? Because I'm tired of rubber ducks. I'm tired of rubber chickens. And I'm tubber, tired of rubber fish. No, oh, those are horrible. It's time for raccoons to be rubberized. Yes, so we can be laughed at too. It's just not fair. And I'm tired of some of these cliches too. It's time that animals like us get a break. I mean, mammals deserve a break today. They do. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, why should it be all the time the goose laying the golden egg? I mean, imagine a cow laying a golden egg. Imagine the size of a cow laying a golden egg. That's right. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's right, that's only fair. And then another one, too. I mean, what about these birds of a feather flocking together? Who cares whether they flock together? I don't, not personally. I mean, what about dogs? Dogs of a kind should bark and rhyme, right? I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be something. I mean, that'd be neat. And then what about these schools for fish? That's ridiculous. Who cares whether fish go to school? They're not going to get a job or nothing. I mean, let's send the raccoons to school. It's time for raccoons to get an education. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, and, and thank you for inviting me. I've got to go now, though. Uh, I think my liver pizza is burning. Got to go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So it looks like Roscoe's having an interesting morning. I think we got to watch a cartoon. Be right back. If you want to come and perform on the Ranger Charlie and Roscoe show as part of Kids Stage, just send us a letter about your talent. Take a look at some of the acts that have already come on our show. Remember Kids Synergy? They came on our show with their singing voices and dancing shoes ready to go. Then there were the kid clowns from the Cascade Clowns. Boy, did they brighten up the ranger station. Is it pretty fun to be a clown? Yeah. What kind of stuff do you like to do? What's your favorite thing to do as a clown? Well, I like to tease people sometimes. Oh, and, and have you ever been in a parade as a clown? Nope. Would you like to do that sometime? Probably. What about any of you guys? Have you been in parades as a clown? What did you do in the parade? Oh, I get it. Jilly Bean doesn't talk. You Jilly just Bean honk. just... Honks. We had a ball when the Seahawk Seagulls performed their dance routines for us. Wowee, look at that mermaid tail. Brittany sang a special song from the Little Mermaid movie, and she even looked like a real mermaid. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? 
Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think... Auditions are coming up soon, so if you've got a special talent, write us a letter about it and send a description of your talent to Kids Stage, P.O. Box 11611, Tacoma, Washington, 98411. We will see you guys later. So long!